book tube it's amy and i think it's time to look at some books i got a couple of books a set of books in the mail today and in a few seconds i'm going to flip this camera around and we're going to take a look at these two beautiful old but slightly decaying books so here we have a couple of rather rough looking volumes uh, old leather uh, the spine still seems fairly uh, intact. Uh, it's not falling apart or anything. But here is the sales slip uh, book description. And it says the author is Don Manuel Alvarez, which is indeed a pseudonym for Robert Southey, the poet. And this is Letters from England by Don Manuel Alvarez Esperal. So our book description, Dewey Decimo, which describes the size of the books. So you can see here two volumes. And it says, polished calf boards in matching design, edge worn foxed, all hinges and joints are cracked. And they are indeed all cracked. We can see they're cracked. But... The binding itself, uh, in terms of the cords, the strings that are holding it together, uh, are actually still holding on tight there. Spine panels chipped. Yep, yep, those are some chipped uh, spine panels here. <laughs> There's the edge. Chipped, very, very chipped. Chipped in almost every way that... A book of this age can be chipped. <laughs> Not quite, but quite a bit chipped. No leg legible tilting. Or t tilting, yeah, it looks like no legible tilting. Uh, which means they sit upright. And sorry for the lighting there. They're going to sit upright. They're not sitting crooked on the shelf. Uh, one of them has cracked through reader's creases to the spine panel. Uh, so this is the one... As you can see, there's cracks in the spine panel. Uh, reader's creases, in other words, they've been read and probably in the course of holding the book open, perhaps somewhere in the middle, uh, the creases did form. Uh, which is actually interesting for, uh, I guess what we would call a hardcover. We see that much more often uh, in paperbacks these days. Uh, but it can happen to old leather bound books as well. Uh, text blocks are sound. That's what I like to hear. Within, find mild foxing and scattered blotches and flecks. Sufficient reading copies of the set. Southie makes remarks about his fellow Englishmen, mere fox hunters, overly fashion conscious, etc., that are more safely said by a Spaniard, hence the nom de plume. A noma de plume, I guess. So here are the two volumes. We'll open up. This one first, we have an inscription from 1830. There is a sticky note in here, which I'm assuming has to do with the seller's inventory. So this is volume one, uh, Letters from England, translated from the Spanish. And that uh, that's a bit of a joke because these are not translated from the Spanish. Uh, they are written in English by Southie, who is pretending to be a Spanish gentleman. Uh, and it's in two volumes. This is the third American edition, published in Philadelphia uh, by Benjamin Warner and sold at his bookstores in Philadelphia and Richmond, Virginia. And we have, it looks like 1818 here. At first glance, you might think it's 1813, but the Closed loop on the bottom there suggests 1818, William Greer, printer. So we are sitting here looking at a book that is over 200 years old and that has been well read and is described as a reading copy. And a reading copy is all I was looking for. Uh, but when there is a set available of this age, it sometimes is tempting uh, to purchase it. And that's what I did here. And so this is about England. It's told in the form of letters. And so I'm assuming we're going to get observations about English 
English countryside, English buildings, English culture uh, in the uh, early 1800s. Nice book there. We'll take a closer look at the second volume. This one I'm going to have to be gentle with because even though it feels attached, I don't want to be too hard on that. There we go, another inscription, 1830. Someone's past uh, ownership sticker. Much more recent than the book. And here, the printing on the 8 is much clearer. Uh, it says 1818. Second volume here. And I think these will go well on the shelf, probably next to my uh, Addison, which is actually, I think, about 10 years older than this set. Uh, I don't own a lot of old books, but now these are some of the oldest that I do own. <laughs> but uh, if you've read these Letters from England by Robert Southey, I would love to hear what you thought of them. Uh, I've never read them. And so this is a new addition to my collection and something new to read as well.